We're here today to announce uh, the indictments uh, charging 40 defendants in connection with criminal rings um, that illegally sold New Jersey digital driver's license at folk five of the um, local motor vehicle agencies uh, that we'll be talking about. The licenses uh, that uh, were involved here were sold for as much as $7,000 a piece um, to customers, typically foreign nationals, um, who did not have the required six points of identification that are now required here in New Jersey. Among those cho charged are brokers who allegedly um, assisted or arranged the Ill illegal uh, sales, as well as six former Motor Vehicle Commission uh, clerks. A seventh MVC clerk um, pled earlier in connection with this case. The clerks uh, that we charge uh, allegedly falsified records to reflect that the people who received the licenses presented the required identification documents when in fact we allege that they did not. In return for issuing the licenses, we allege that the corrupt clerks in this case uh, received a cut of the money and collected uh, from uh, that money um, from the brokers and other middle people involved in the case. Uh, we're talking about a combination of criminal profiteering and public corruption that I think is, 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 is truly alarming uh, and that we need to stay on top of as we do today. Clerks who work for the Motorcycle Vehicles Commissions are um, held in a significant position of trust. All those involved in this agency, in their jobs, they have access uh, to the personal information of millions of licensed drivers, uh, and they are responsible for issuing driver's licenses, which are truly powerful documents right here in New Jersey as well as in the rest of the country. In their jobs, um, they have access to these documents. They also, after the passport, the driver's license is perhaps the second most powerful identification document used to uh, properly identify people across the country in innumerable circumstances. A driver's license, for example, can be used to cash checks. It can be used uh, to open a new credit account. It can be used, as we all know, um, to board an airplane. We know that criminals um, seek black market driver's licenses to commit identity theft and financial fraud that's crippling our nation. We even more are concerned because we know that terrorists who attacked the United States on September 11, 2001, used licenses from other states to help them carry out what turned out to be the most deadly plot in, in our nation's history. The 911 commission report that came out afterwards examine how the terrorists acquired the driver's licenses that ultimately let them to have access to so much worse and the documentations they used, including driver's licenses. The report re recommended stricter procedures and standards for issuing identification documents and in particular driver's licenses in order to prevent fraud. It was in response to that 911 commission report and the attacks that New Jersey strengthened um, its security features for its driver's license. And we proudly announced uh, years earlier um, the generation of the digital driver's license um, that we have today. Now the Motor Vehicle Commission also implemented the required six points of identification to carefully screen the process by which people obtain these digital driver's license. And recently, as you recall, the Motor Vehicle Commission made new drivers, uh, New Jersey's driver's licenses even more secure. I believe we announced in May 1 when I stood proudly with Chief Martinez and other key members of the, um, the Christie administration that we rolled out what we called then the enhanced driver's license. The new license contains 25 additional security features um, including covert features to further safeguard um, uh, uh, against fraud. They were important state steps. They were done to promote security. However, the human element continues to remain an important part of the identification purchasing process, namely the Motor Vehicle Commission clerks who issue these licenses. 
there remains the potential for abuse, and that's in, in essence what was at issue in this case.